Welcome back everybody, this is the last one. Let's play some more Factorio. So we got some belted things now and I'm thinking I need to build some things here. First thing on my mind is some stack inserters. So let's get them going. Uh, where you at? should probably start using stack inserters instead of other inserters and mostly everything at this point. So we need a fast inserter, which requires a regular inserter, which requires, yeah, regular inserter. Okay. We need a lot of iron gear wheels, too. So we're going to need... Let's see. You're just plating an inserter. You need gear wheels, circuits, advanced circuits, and a fast inserter. And you actually need a gear wheel, circuit, and plate. Plate. No plate for you. Okay, so we need to run plate down to this. Uh, uh, not that one, that one. There we go. We need to run plate to there. And I think what we'll do. Bring that down there. Here will be regular inserters. Uh, next one will be this one here. You're going to be fast inserters. I'll do that and that. That. Well, you can be a long handed, I guess. Uh, is that what we need there? Let's see, plate. I need two plate, two circuit. What do these guys need for... Fifteen gear wheels, fifteen circuits, okay. So let's just run both down this line here. I think it'll work. Excuse me while I think up what I'm doing here properly. Okay. Now you... You'd be on this near side with these guys, like so. Good. Just a regular inserter there will work. Uh, let's get some power onto it. Maybe pull somewhere in there that would be fine. run just fine like that. We need to come down here and down here. You need to be set to make fast inserters. And we need one more here to be designated to make stack inserters. Probably going to need two there. One out there into a handy dandy little box. And we'll set it to, I don't know, 100 or so. And then we need to just pick up some advanced circuits and bring them down here too. Uh, once I make a couple here, we'll just wait till it makes a few. There we go. And we're going to replace these three guys with stacks instead. Because they should work much better here. Uh, where'd you go? Mr. Stack Inserter. You are making as many as you possibly can, and you're not keeping up, so let's do this. And we'll do that. Perfect. There's our speed modules 3, finally. Um, well, we could do rate lab research. Poop. We care about it right now. 
Well, we're just going to go through our modules here. I think you get power armor too eventually here, so we need uh, modules first. Anyways, once we get these stacks going, that'll take care of those. Next on the agenda should be probably processing units, I guess. Uh, not sure if I want to do those just yet. We'll think about it here for a second. Stand these belts out just a touch. I was kind of thinking about making a big all-in-one thing for processing units. What else we got going on here? There's a biter base over there. We should probably go get rid of that real quick. Let's go take care of that little issue first. It's gonna take us a minute to walk over there, but that's okay. Everybody likes a good walk, right? We'll see how that goes. Um, thinking processing units, I'm thinking about making like a big all-in-one kind of thing where we just start from iron and go with it. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just do them with what I got on the belts. Uh, and then up our production for things later. Cut our way through here. It looks like we got some mediums happening here, huh? No, oh, maybe not. Oh yeah, there's a medium biter, okay. And a medium worm. That's not good. Those are going to cause issues soon enough. Okay, that was a migratory biter patch it looked like. By that I mean they uh, migrated in and made a new base. They do that. So if we're picking medium worms and stuff, it's about time to start thinking about getting some armor with shields in it. So that's a thing, which is a couple of researches away apparently. So let's go throw those artifacts back in the kitty here. Then we'll think about making some processing units. Other than that, everything looks decent. Uh, we need more iron input, obviously, here. Uh, let's go look at our furnaces and see how they're holding out. We may just need to put in another row of them. I think we're mining enough to keep up over here. Yeah, looks like we're mining enough. Copper's kind of sad right now. We'll have to fix that soon, too. So, first things first. Uh, these need to go in the box over by the science labs. Let's do that first. All our labs are running good, it looks like, right? Yeah, everybody's researching fine. Clean up a couple of these dead miners while we're here. Once the rest of these die off, we can finish this steel here. So that's a thing. And once all this iron dies off over here, we can finish the iron too. So we're kind of hoping for that to happen soon. Don't see it happening too soon, though. We're not uh, burning enough of it here. So we could get some speed modules going and just use up more power, but I don't think we necessarily want to do that. How's our power looking? Yeah, we're pushing up towards the end of our power already, so we need to maybe expand that out a little bit soonish. But before we get much further than that, let's look at what we need for our armor, what we're going to need eventually. Uh, you need processing units, electrical engines we've got, we should have, since we stopped making things. Right, we should have a bunch of these, almost, yeah. They're slow making, but we'll get them there eventually. Looks like we got a bunch of these too. Okay, they're perfectly fine with what they got. So is our, our sulfuric acid still full, so we should be able to just make up with them. Make up a processing unit line here. I think the other thing I want to do is get these guys. Speed module 1s just take advanced and a regular electronics. Mm. You know what? Let's, uh, let's get a speed module 1 line here, and then we can make uh, some better assembly machines. 
We go there, and we'll make some speed modules here. We'll go here. We'll make some yellow assemblers here. Need the juice for it, of course. And we just need some regular electronic circuits down this other end here. Oh, well, we can do that. Just like so. Okay, that'll give us some speed modules and some of these guys, which we'll put in a convenient little box. We'll just go ahead and have a couple stacks of them. What are you doing on these? What's holding you guys up? Gear wheels. Oh, because we're burning through all our iron. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. We have not enough production of iron to sustain the madness we're doing. Good to know. How many furnaces do we have? Uh, just those seven? Yeah, let's go grab some more of them. Should have a decent stack up here somewhere. Yeah, we got a couple hundred of them. We'll grab a hundred. Sounds like a decent number to me. I'm gonna think about making another entire another iron line. I don't think there's any point in putting stacks on it, so we won't do that. Let's see, don't I make long-handed inserters here somewhere too? There they are. Okay. Need some of them. Have enough of them. Their belt holding out. Not quite enough. Let's see if we can go snag some more here. This is the other thing that's burning up lots of iron is making all this belt. But that's okay. It can live with it. Now I gotta think about how I wanna do this and how much iron production I wanna kill to make it work. I'm not totally opposed to kill my iron production. Oh, look at this. Something died. This guy down here is doing nothing, so let's get that cleaned up while we're thinking about it. Get that cleaned up real fast, and then we'll think about going and working with the other things. So this is all done now, finally. We can get rid of all this bed jaws. I know, everybody loves cleaning up belt. So much fun. Lazy man's way cleaning up a blue belt. Just ride down it. Yellow belt's a little bit too slow. You gotta move. You gotta actually move to do that one. Blue belt, you can just kind of ride it and hold down the button. It'll clean it up for you. Okay, there's that. The easiest way would probably be to I'm gonna say I don't need another uh, input belt here. I'm pretty sure I can just get away with doing this here. Uh, I'm just laying this out for the mo. All right, now we can start on our power armor too. We'll just lay this out for a minute here. This is how it's gonna look, yay! And then we'll come back in here and uh, fix it up. Really need 
that there. Alright, and then we'll split it out and balance it here. Oops. Well, not like that. There we go. Okay. That'll balance that all out once we get this actually going. Speaking of which, we might as well just let this bottom section go because it's here. There we go. We could even... No, we could do we could tighten this all up and clean it up a bit here a bit too much iron not to uh, keep not keep doing it but We'll, we'll keep the miners going, but we're going to tighten them up a bit and try and siphon some away into a second iron line and increase our production a bit here. Let's see how it works. Like that. I get a bit more going down that belt. Then we'll clean up the scent here now. We didn't want to shut everybody off. There we go. Actually, let's uh, run this up here instead. Just grab a big pole. Big pole it there. There we go. Come around this side and run these guys a little tighter. Same thing here. Can be a bit more power consumption, but that's okay. I think if I take a furnace here, and we lay these guys out here. One there, and two there. We can uh, sneak in a couple more here. We'll just siphon off these bottom three here into those furnaces. There we go. And then as this burns out, we can add more to it. Gets me, uh, what, six more furnaces working, so that's not terrible. We did add a bit more power usage doing that, though. Let's see if we actually are keeping up with this now. Uh, we need one more miner, it looks like. Maybe two. We'll go two. There we go. Okay, now we're keeping up with their demand. Perfect. Now we're using a little bit more ore. So that takes care of that issue. Or, it's starting to take care of it. It doesn't really take care of anything yet, but... It is helping a little bit. Next up, uh oh. What do we got going on here? We need more coal. Okay. See, we have a coal issues here. Let's go and run this down this way. We'll get that a little bit more. And yeah, all this doesn't need to be going down this way, does it? I'm only feeding three there that aren't powering crap. So let's take this line here and bring it up here. Like so. Even though these are all dead. We'll 
go ahead and start another one here too. That you get these guys running nicely again. They aren't killing that stuff nearly fast enough, are they? Oh well. Oh, I suppose I could just add a few steam engines right here anyways, huh? You want me with me? That's some boilers. Doesn't look like I have any steam engines, does it? Oh, I didn't want to make that minor. Well, one, two, three, four. We can add these guys here. Nothing wrong with that. And we can think about how we want to route some of this water around to get it out of here. Maybe making our power plant somewhere around here. Uh, landfill? Oh, we don't have any yet. We could also just make this all, fill this all in with landfill, I guess. Possibility. Well, first, let's see what we can do here with the coal and stuff. I'll move that. That's in the way. There to go, radar. Radar! There. You can go there, then it won't be in the way. Let's see. Come under here. Yeah, we can come under there like that. We're going to have to figure out somehow how to get the piping over here now, though. Let's see, which one were we on? We were on this one here. Okay. Let's get rid of that. So we'll go to this one here. Let's bring it on down here. Like so. We got boilers, right? Oh, boilers are somewhere, right? Okay. We run it there. Perfect. Then the other one will have to come up with landfill or something. Uh, yeah, can you rotate these guys after they're planted? No, we'll have to pull them up and spin them around or something. That's fine. I'm not too worried about that. We can just make some landfill here and just come around the other end or some such. Uh, let's get these laid out though. So we need 10 steam engines to make them. And then we need how many boilers? Three more. Which we're probably going to need some stone for, huh? Just go grab a bunch of that. There we go. And five, ten, one, two, three, four for the other side. Perfect. All right, we can run this down this way. Not gonna really run into anything. Well, pump jack, but we can just uh, delete the last or one or two steam inches off the line. Well, we go to hell. The rock doesn't burn. It blows up with a shotgun, though. Okay. There you go. Testing things for fun and posterity's sake. I think I just made an extra boiler for no reason. So that you want to, you know, so wanted to for whatever nonsensical reason I can come up with here. Yeah, turn the next one, we're going to have to come up along this way in here somewhere. So let's grab some landfill and we can do that. And then we'll finish expanding our power system in the next one. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.